This is a Hot Pie Original. Uh, welcome to the Gray Area Podcast with me, Chad Fisher. No more, no more. Yo, yo, it's Aaron Cheatham. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Gray Area Podcast. I am your host, Chad Fisher, alongside my co-host, Mr. Aaron Cheatham. How you doing, brother? Brother, I am fantastic. That's good, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. Say it with me one time now. Fantastic. Nope, 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 nope. Take that little bitch out the voice. Come on with it. <laughs> Come on, say it with your chest and all your nipples. Give me that chest hair. Oh, fantastic. There man. you go. That's fucking great. That's I'm fantastic. We're doing brother. fantastic. How's your week been? It's been good, man. Fucking, you know, being a dad, just doing the dad shit. Yeah. Just trying to get some sleep for, I, I've never been, I never thought that I would like value 25 minute naps as much as I do now. It's crazy. Naps go hard in the paint. <laughs> 25, I try to get 25 minutes before I came here. Like, oh man, this ain't gonna be shit. I felt refreshed, man. I felt really good. Yeah. You you know what? It It's funny uh, how you don't realize how a little goes a long way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and that's in a lot of things. You don't need a whole lot of horseradish, yeah. just a little bit. D- yeah, that's just too spicy anyways, right. man. You don't, need, you don't necessarily need a four-hour nap. Dude, I realized how, bu- how big of a baby I was, too, before I had a son, too. Because, like, dude, I would take a two-hour nap, like, every single day. Now, uh, I, that never happens, you know what I'm saying? If I get, like, 20, 30 minutes or something here or there, I'm ecstatic. It's but, prep. It's prep work. Yeah, I'm, you know, us dads, you know, it's tough on us dads, you know? Hey, um, before we go any further, though, para- paranormal, <laughs> stop bringing ghosts she in here. She thinks the studio is haunted for some reason. I, I know, know I know it wasn't haunted when we first started doing shows here, Yeah, but I know somebody brought some ghosts with them. And now well, that's why I brought, I brought the good juju, man. We got Bronte, my kitty, in the background now, so she's going to ward off any... All right, you say that, and then when you see... I want to see you... Bronte when, don't fuck around, when man. They, when they knock your picture off the wall... Oh, uh, we're going to be fighting, man. Okay. Because we haven't seen, we haven't had two pictures fall off the wall already. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm just on high alert. I'm on high alert. I don't know if it's the juju from Paranormal. I don't know if Amy <laughs> Edwards is coming in here and she's like loosening up our adhesiveness. Yeah. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, we're, you. You. Stop. Stop all that. All right. Let one more thing fall. Me. These ghosts have access to the internet is what you're saying? They're yes, watching our of, show. Of course, ghosts have access <laughs> yeah. to the internet. They're watching our show. They're How do you like, think they get here? They got a YouTube profile and shit. It's just like all, all of our likes are actually from the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. We don't really have viewers. Yeah, just it's just fucking all the ghosts that hang out in the studio and watch us. Paranormal. Yeah. Stop that. Stop that. Shout out to Big Dan. Hop high in the house. That's a big Dan don't give a shit, man. <laughs> he does not. Dan coming in here with fucking quarter pounds of fucking weed Yo. and shit, not giving a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking don't care. Yo, big Dan is like two steps away from him. now. This is how uh, you roll. Uh, <laughs> he yeah. was. I thought he's gonna give a dissertation. He on just rolling. coming in here. I thought he's gonna spark up a joint in here. Yeah. I was like, damn. How do we get to the point where Hot Pie will allow us to smoke weed in the studio? I don't know. We just gotta be a big, they're, at, big. They're already badass. letting us drink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out Screwball. Mm. We gotta go to the parking lot, like fucking, like a bunch of poor people and smoke weed. And Big Dan's just up here rolling fucking eight gram fucking joints and shit. Not giving a eight gram joints. Yeah, is man. that a real thing? Is that a real? No, I bet big. If if it is, Big Dan knows what it is. Big Dan, hit us up. <laughs> we're trying, I'm trying to party with Big I'm Dan. To, I'm, I'm trying to party with Big Dan, I'm trying too, to party dude. with Big Dan. I don't think I can hang with Big Dan, though, man. I'm a dad now. I'll be in bed. Fuck it. I want to kick it with Big Dan. Actually, I want to ask him if he's if anybody's knocked over his shit, too. Because I'm telling you, yeah. y'all keep bringing ghosts in this goddamn studio. And then we ain't got no Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray to come through <laughs> here and clean this shit up. Then what are we going to do? So All right? You don't know Big Dan is also a, a Big Dan's Playground. I think is the name of the show. It's mm-hmm. a, uh, another show. One of the many awesome shows on Hot Pie Media that you can check out, but dude's a riot, man. He's hilarious. For sure. You got a shout out for the week? Yeah, my shout out of the week, man. I already know you're going to make fun of me for this shit, but I don't care. Uh, my shout out of the week is to Post Malone, man. Post Malone just released a, a song, a cover of a Hootie and the Blowfish song 
which is like fucking heaven to me, man, because I'm a huge. <laughs> I love some Hootie and the Blowfish, man. I'm not going to lie. I like some Hootie and the Blowfish. I, I mean, the flannel Look. shirt definitely reeks of hu- Hootie. <laughs> you definitely this, look like a Hootie the, head. This is the Darius Rucker collection from fucking uh, from Wrangler. Target. <laughs> yeah, from Wrangler and shit. No, man, he just released a uh, cover of Only Want to Be With You. It's fucking, dude, I love some. I, Post Malone is one of my favorite musicians. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I'm just going to say it. And yes. who? That's, Hootie. The, that's Hootie. the only Hootie song that I know. Actually. Hootie goes hard, man. Hootie's got some really good anti-war, anti-fucking uh, uh, big government. Yeah, listen. When when Hootie was out, when Hootie was popping, I wasn't thinking about anti-war, anti-government. I was thinking about getting in some draws, and he wasn't <laughs> doing he wasn't some, doing nothing for you, getting in some draws. You need to put some draws on, is what you need to do. You, we are you know, you know I wear draws. <laughs> I'm about to turn this back on you, man. I you can try, shit. but I've already said I'll show mine. I ain't got no shame. <laughs> I'll pull good. my draws out. That's nasty. Be a little pee stain and shit. I don't care. Like I, if it proves a point, <laughs> if it proves P-stain, a point, that's fucking nasty. Dude. Um, oh, who's your shout out? Yeah, my shout out is going to be. I've got a couple that I'm that I'm tossing around, but I'm going to go Just with Paul this, White. Making this shit up. I'm not making this shit up. I'm going with Paul White, aka the Big Show. Uh, he jumped ship from WWE over to AEW, uh, which is actually a really big deal. That dude's <clears> been with, uh, you know, he was with W. He started with WCW back in like '99, '98, mm-hmm. uh, and then when they went under, he went to WWE, and he had been there ever since. So like, or actually before they went under, so he's been with WWE something like 22 years, 21 years, uh, and. He was on TV as recently as like uh, last month, January, uh, in January 2021 uh, for WWE for their Legends Night episode. So just out of nowhere, without any any um, previous knowledge, just randomly one day we wake up and Paul White is with All Elite Wrestling. Uh, kind of shifts the uh, the 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 momentum. I don't know about the momentum, but it definitely shifts the face of of what wrestling is looking like. Because a lot of these cats that were that have been around for a long time, like these old heads are going over to AEW, which sounds like, oh, well, you're just using WWE's recycled parts or whatever. Mm -hmm. But in all honesty, uh, no, these guys are going over there and showing that they still got life. They still have a lot to give the uh, industry, not just physically as performing, but like mentally and and stuff like just uh, in, in, in production and putting matches together, teaching the younger generations. Uh, So I'm really happy because this dude has been sitting on the sideline for a long time. Like a lot of other uh, old heads that went over to AEW and uh, I'm, I'm glad to see him go over there. Even though I really feel the main reason he went over there was so he can fight Shaq. Um, Because he's been trying to have a WrestleMania match with Shaquille O'Neal for like five years. I'll probably watch that. It it kept getting sidelined. And uh, by the time you guys see this, it would have already happened. But Cody Rhodes is going to be having a match with Shaquille O'Neal next week. Of course. Uh, It's a tag team match. but uh, So Shaq is going to be in the ring wrestling. So that dude does everything. He man. does everything. Shaq does. He should Literally. be my shout out. Shaq does everything. You but I, I kind of really want to see this big show, or excuse me, Paul White versus Shaq thing that they've been trying to do for years now. And it looks like it might actually happen. Shout I out do, to uh, Paul White, aka the big show, making that move to AEW. I do a bit about Shaq. Do you? Yeah. Like what I, I say, uh, what if Shaq had a really small 10 inch uh, dick? I have heard you do that. Because 10 inches is like, that's a big dick. But on Shaq, it would just, it would look really small. And Shaq like, is just a dick. It would just look like a, like some burnt asparagus or some shit. <laughs> He's a big dude, man. He should have a bigger dick. Burnt <laughs> asparagus? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's the only thing I can think of. It's the only tag. You know how many times I try to change that tag? There's but... no girth to asparagus. <laughs> I know, exactly. At all. So it's just a long, skinny, fucking 10 inch dick. But. Most people be happy with that. I've but never, Shaq, I have never spent this upset. much time thinking about Shaq's genitalia. Oh, oh, oh I have, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why you don't wear draws. <laughs> Dog, you're fucking <laughs> killing me with this shit. Oh, we got a special guest yeah, in, the, in the in the studio yeah, with us today. N- you're not just sitting on my lap for a reason and shit while we're all hugged up. Over no, here no, no. We only do this when we have the biggest of guests, and uh, yeah. today is no exception. Uh, we have adult film megastar. John Magnum in studio with us. John, how are you doing, brother? Pretty good. Pretty That's good. awesome. Actually, way too kind. <laughs> more, more, more importantly than that, my friend, I've known you for a long time. It's good yeah. to have you here. What does your shirt say? Oh, I was just uh, reading it. Train hard, eat right, stay sexy. There you go, man. Exactly. Clearly, Pillars. you're doing that. Look at them yeah. arms. That pillars. That's, 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 that's them arms. Do you want to go on that side yeah. of the table? I kind of do. You see these guns? I feel so protected next to him. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, bro? I'm good. Thanks I'm for good. doing the show, man. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having yeah. me on. Seriously. Well, not even that, but you actually came. Like, you didn't have to come. 
but you were like, nah, I, I'm going to be there. I'm and coming I, down. I was yeah. like, oh shit, he's all right, let's do this. I'm so yeah. glad to see you. Like, I'm really happy to see you. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a, how many years? Oh shit. Uh, I, I don't think Trump was president last time I saw no, him. So let's say five years. Probably least. about five years. Yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah. But we've known each other for almost a decade. Almost. Here's a here's a little known John Magnum uh, fact for you, Chad. <laughs> I uh, the first time John Magnum ever did stand up comedy, I took him to the Blind Tiger Comedy Club. Oh yeah, down in San Antonio, mm. and uh, and got him some time on stage. And he went up there and he did about five to seven minutes. First time on stage, wrecked shot. Damn, for real? You're I, one of the few, man. He, You're one of the few. He killed it. Like, he killed it his first time. But, I mean, if I had stories about um, somebody shitting on my chest, I'd probably kill it, too, my first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did bring the house down. It, yeah. yeah. That was, it ended on a high note. I don't know if it was... Listen, I was I felt some type know. of way afterwards because I was like, this dude starts doing stand-up. I'm definitely getting into porn. Like, you can't be fucking with my <laughs> with my shit. I'm yeah. gonna have to come for yours. Fuck all that. Uh, but it's good to see you, brother. Yeah. Uh, John, Same. we like to we like to play games here on the show. Uh, yeah. at the beginning with our guests to have some fun. Are you? Do you want to play a game with us? Sure. You what down? kind of game is it? It's a, it's a fun game. Uh oh, it's, it's a fun game. It's Colton, just a fun game. Don't worry about it. Cut the lights off, Colton. It's yeah, I was about to say. Whose hand is in my pocket <laughs> in the game we're playing today? <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know your hands. They're very thick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dog, what the fuck? <laughs> you got a wife, man. Settle down. She knows. Um, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to play Dobbins and Bobbins this, Dobbins this and week. Bobbins. Dobbins and Bobbins. It's a game from the UK. Uh, and John, we are playing for <clears throat> the Gray Area Podcast. Which is Dylan Avery's uh, uh, currently, right? That belongs to him. I mean, how are you you gonna lose something that you were like defending on behalf of Peter Joseph, and then you like you've lost it, like, it three on times. like three different people's <laughs> yeah. behalf. Yeah. Um. So now it's just up for grabs. I'm yeah. just gonna put it. It's up for grabs. Anyone right here. can you have can, this. You can leave with this. It's the fanciest paperweight you've it ever is, seen. It is the Gray Area Podcast Party Bag Paperweight Championship of Games. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I, I'm, good. I'm coming for that. All right, <laughs> let's get serious. You can have it. Actually, you can just take it. Actually, I won't even fucking fight you on that shit. You see those hands, right? They kill. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the way this game works is I had you guys write down three uh, fake racehorse names. Now, I'm going to read off uh, four names to you guys, and you're going to try to guess which one is the actual racehorse name. If you get the uh, correct horse, you get three points. But if Chad picks your horse or if you pick Chad's horse, they'll get a point. Mm -hmm. And if neither of you guys guess the correct horse, then I get three points. This would be good because there's some goofy ass horse racing names. There are tons. There's so many silly ass names. I swear they just get like real fucked up and just start th picking like different names out of a bag. Or exactly. Some shit. Or just like, so th this should be a lot of fun. Yeah. This should be a lot of fun. Right. Um, are you guys ready to play Dobbins and Bobbins this week on the Gray Area Podcast? Let's do it, man. All right. Let's here we it. go. First one. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, that that is the right one. Okay, I thought I, pull, I thought I pulled up the wrong list. Um, first one: Slim Biscuit, Joker's Gambit, Bofa D's Nuts, Ashy Knees. <laughs> so I got guess between those ones. Which yeah, which is one is the real horse's name? Ashy Knees, Slim Biscuit, Bofa D's Nuts, Joker's Gambit. Uh, Joker's Gambit. You got Joker's Gambit. Which one you got? Is a uh, Slim Biscuit, right? Slim Biscuit? Yeah, Slim Biscuit. That's your choice? That's my choice. All right, so off top, I'm getting three points because you both Damn. you both got it wrong. Oh, uh, and each of you will get a point because you picked each other's. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, when you picked it, I'm like, yeah, got him. Got this motherfucker. The real horse's name was both of these nuts. No. Dog, yes. stop. And it's, it's spelled B O F. -A. I was gonna say it's with B Bofa. Both Bofa Dude, D's nuts is a real awesome. horse's name. That's cool as shit. All right, so now you guys see you're down um, three to one to me. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> Bofa D's nuts is pulling away. <laughs> <laughs> Bofa D's nuts in the lead. <laughs> Bofa D's nuts out in front. Bo Bofa D's nuts pulling lead. the rear. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Who really that's names good, a horse man. that? All right, here we go. Second one. Uh, Dasher Prancer, Panty Raid, Hot Toddy. <laughs> floppy wang I'll do that again hot toddy dasher prancer panty raid floppy wang panty raid what you got or is it hot what hot toddy hot dasher, toddy hot toddy yeah, yeah. Uh, the correct answer is panty raid got it Chad with panty raid Hot uh, Toddy was my made up. Was it? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what the fuck that boom is. There, we, <laughs> there we go well Chad you are now in the lead with five points what's up I got three John Magnum, you're pulling the rear, bro. 
All right. You're pulling that's, the rear. You're, pull, you're pulling the rear. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you said it. <laughs> All right. This is the last one. All the marbles right here. You okay. can still catch Chad. Okay. It's a slim chance. It's slim pickings. Mm. But you can still catch Chad. <laughs> I don't think so, but all right, we're going to see. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. All yeah. right. 50 Shades of Hay, Pickle Tooth, Slim Pickings, <laughs> Speed Lightning. Uh, say the first two again. 50 Shades of Hay, Pickle Tooth, Shades of hay. <laughs> Slim Pickings, Speed Lightning. 50 Shades of Hay. John Magnum? I'll just go with number two. It's a toss up. Pickle Tooth? Yeah. Pickle Tooth? Sure. I'll take that point for Pickle Tooth. <laughs> and Chad will take three points for 50 Shades of Hay hey, being the correct answer. Hey, 50 hey. Shades of Hay. I know hay. my horse names, man. Yeah. That's that Ohio shit right there. No, my, my grandpa uh, bred horses that raced, so I know, you know, got a little background in it. I also wrote down Ashy Knees as an option, but I didn't. <laughs> dude, I thought that was a real one, too. I thought it was like, dude, if that, if that wasn't associated with the other ones, I'd probably have picked that. Um, real, Ashy Knees. Hold on. Wait a second. Dasher Prancer, that was you? No. That was you? That was me. It's good. Really? Wow. Uh, did, did I do two two of them with Slim in the first name? You did. Slim Pickens and, <laughs> and Slim, Slim Biscuit. Biscuit. I don't know what the fuck I was I was, I was like, where's Slim Shady? <laughs> Slim Biscuit is also my rap name, so. That makes sense. There's yeah. gravy all over you. Well, yeah. there will be in a minute. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sounds not bad. Uh, you got headlines for us? Yeah, let's do some headlines. Uh, did, you see, uh, did you hear about this? Have you been paying attention to the news, John? A little bit. You don't have to because I'm about to hit you to a bunch of right, shit. He's going to hit us to um, Did you hear about this? Uh, Malcolm X's family releases a letter alleging FBI police role in his death. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's no, not news to anyone, I don't right. think. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all knew this. But uh, members of Malcolm X's family have made public what they described as a letter written by a deceased police officer stating that the New York Police Department and FBI were behind the 1965 killing of the famed black activist and civil rights advocate. You know, the anniversary was last week, February 21st. I think that's why they came out with this yeah, shit. Yeah, February so, 21st is the anniversary. Yeah, that's when this article came out. So yeah, uh, Malcolm X was a powerful, or we all know this shit. He was killed at New York's Audubon Ballroom while preparing to deliver a speech. Three members of the Nation of Islam were convicted in the shooting. Yeah, I don't think anyone believed that shit. You know what I'm saying? I think we all knew that like powerful, influential black man threatens, uh, you know, economic structure or whatever of, of the entire country. So that's not really news, but it is cool to see that his uh, family's coming out and saying something about speaking out about it. Um, next one. Sorry, this is like depressing shit this week. Right. <laughs> the, the third one isn't, but uh, this is a story that I don't feel like many people are talking about and it needs to be talked about more. Um, the governor of New York. Is he, is he the governor? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Como? Como. Como. Yeah. Denies alleged cover up and crisis surrounding nursing, nursing home deaths. So they allege that he knew that uh, 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 people, I'll just read some of this shit. After insisting his administration had done nothing wrong last week, Governor Andrew Cuomo on Monday did not directly apologize for a lack of transparency surrounding the record keeping of COVID deaths in nursing homes during the pandemic. Instead, he admitted that his administration made a quote mistake by not being transparent about the deaths, which created a void that was filled with skepticism and cynicism and conspiracy theories, which further the confusion. I don't, I don't think you need conspiracy theories when you have like incompetence at such a high Look, level. Look, if you, you want know? to talk about the right. conspiracy uh -huh. theater, the, uh, theories with this guy, I think the real conspiracy, there might be something going on, right? So this happens, but then the very next day, the allegations come out of sexual harassment uh, from a consultant uh, mm -hmm. to Andrew Cuomo, like the yeah. very next mm -hmm. day. So it's like, that comes out and he's like, hey, I need somebody to say I touched him. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, that's probably we gotta it. change the yeah, we gotta change the narrative real quick. Right, I don't dude. care. I'll take that hit. Yeah, <laughs> yep. it's re it's better for them to think that I'm in here sniffing girls' hair than to think that I'm killing old people. Yeah, like yeah. just literally the next day is like it comes out that there's a sexual harassment uh, charge against him now. So uh, that sucks. People need to be like, uh, if you're gonna be outraged about people not wearing masks or some of this other you know very trivial bullshit that's going on. And you're totally ignoring this story, then you are a fucking idiot. Like you had, like you can't just do that, man. Like this dude is, like obviously responsible for some horrific shit. He doesn't just get a free pass because he's well. Got here's here, here's the thing. Did he like? Can people still make mistakes, or do we have to crucify everybody when they do something wrong? Yeah. Like, I, is it possible for people to make a mistake, have bad judgment, make a bad decision, do something wrong, but not be? Like they're, they're trying to like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't always have to be something. Did he make a bad decision? Was it possibly a mistake, a judgment, an error in judgment on his behalf? 
that doesn't mean he's the worst motherfucker to ever walk the earth. But I mean, I guess I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, this is like a this is something that they perpetuated over a number of days and weeks. It wasn't just like one little mistake. Like this dude was like obfuscating numbers. This I and mean, he killed people, man. It's not like he like he fucking left the people. toilet seat up, but like his decisions yeah, he killed made, people. Yeah, and guess what? Our president, our former president's decisions killed a lot of people. Yeah. Five hundred thousand, and I don't see anybody going. Well, let's talk about you know like Dog, I mean, people do. Uh, I, everyone, I do all the time. I said shit to blue in the face. We also uh, Biden I, started bombing Syria today and shit too, which is like another thing, you know. But they're like. Uh, they're, well, Biden's gonna bomb. Yeah, that's they, what Biden's yeah. doing. We get we get we drop bombs before you uh, raise the minimum wage. That's always cool. Too. He's also trying to raise the minimum wage. Just, you know. I don't know. I don't know about that. He also didn't he also say that, uh, st- stimulus checks were going out as soon as he got into office. Yeah, but you know that you month like, and a half. Like, are you gonna hold him to his word exactly? I mean, you know, it's not it's not it's not up to him. If it was up to him, the right fucking check. I, I think that's so easy to say, and that's what they've been doing, and that's why we have made no progress. Are you looking? Are you looking for in instant years. gratification, or are you uh, like? I mean, it's a process. He can say that you know when I get elected. Well, this you, is what I'm well, do. well, well, well. Let's see what what takes what takes precedence. Okay, uh, it's a lot easier. To, so you're saying it's a lot easier to go drop bombs on it on on innocent people than it is to. Uh, to, was he uh, dropping bombs on innocent people or was he dropping bombs well, there's on gonna be insurgents? collateral. There's going to be collateral damage, of course. There's going to be that. Yeah, and you can't go and instigate a war and then be like, hey, they're fighting back. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, dog, that's what people do when you fucking kill them, you know? So, like, all right. Yeah, I think, Anyways, I think, I think let's talk about cake. on that one. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about cake. Um, <laughs> Please, anyway. let's talk about cake. Uh, did you hear about this? Michael Andretti uh, raced a car made of cake at a grand opening. And this was for a, like a parking garage, dude. What do they do? So this dude raced a car that was 91% cake and r- got it up to 17 miles per hour. And this is like, this is just for the open a parking garage. <laughs> like, what the fuck do they do when they open like a casino or some shit, man? That would be fucking interesting. You ever done anything weird with cake? You have any <laughs> cake stories? No. Sorry. No? No. Nope. Never jumped out of a cake? Nope. Never threw a cake? No. Really? Never threw a cake. I baked cakes. I baked a shitty cake yesterday for her. <laughs> I baked a shitty cake yesterday. It came out all fucked up. <laughs> it tasted delicious. Uh, I made it from scratch. Okay. All fucked up. All fucked up. What did it, what did it come out like? Flat? P- pieces. Pieces? <laughs> oh, okay. Because the, there wasn't enough oil and flour in the pan, yeah, so it yeah. stuck. Where'd you get the recipe? Online. Did you follow it? I, they didn't say anything about that, but here's the thing. They didn't say, say anything, anything about what? They what? didn't say anything about following the recipe. No, no, they didn't say anything about oiling and powdering. But I, oh, as I started okay. putting the batter the in the pan, okay. I started putting the batter in the pan. I go, wait a second, aren't you supposed to oil and, and whatever? So I took the batter out the pan mm. and then I consulted my wife and then we messed up. <laughs> I'm, I, say, I say, under the bus? I, I'm not going to throw her under the bus. Dude. I'm not. I'm throwing you under the bus right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, just I guess we didn't grease it enough yeah. or whatever. Um, we used butter instead of oil, which probably might have played a part in it. It should um, have. I mean, as long as it was spread evenly. I don't think it was. I you think we could have used more, yeah. honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think we used yeah. enough. Um, yeah. And and then mm-hmm. and then so the the cake. It's man. It looked like it had a hard life. <laughs> <laughs> was it like stuck to the pan and like kind of burnt at the bottom? Not burnt, stuff? not burnt at all. No. It was like, to, it was cooked perfectly. Uh-huh. Just stuck. Oh, yeah. And so like a big piece came out mm. and then another piece was like hanging with like a flap of skin <laughs> yeah. stuck to it. So, and then I tried to put icing on all that shit yeah. and it was a layered cake. It looked like a 40 year old crack core. <laughs> yeah. He had a rough life. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Damn. yeah, it, it it looked like like both of these nuts ran over it. Mm, yeah. Both of these nuts. Both of the, the horse, not yeah, not, not these. your actual nuts. <laughs> yeah. That's a beat up pussy. It was. That's <laughs> what I said. I was looking at the cake. I cried for that cake. I said, this pussy has gone to hell. <laughs> you yeah, you can never have else? too much butter. Yeah, that, you know what? That's that's the that's so now I have to redo it. Now I have to like vindicate myself and be mm, like, like, I know it I wasn't me. Yeah. But, yeah, don't you know, give up. Because the, like the icing went hard. It was a yellow cake with um Dutch chocolate icing. Uh I made everything from scratch. Mm. Icing, cake, oh, everything wow. from scratch. Uh yeah. icing, fluffy, delicious as hell. Mm. The cake had flavor. It's just it looked like a toddler had just ha, yeah. ha, 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 on half of it. Like half of like it was it was the mullet of cakes. 
Okay. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Business in the front. Did it Half taste it, okay though? It went hard. Yeah. It went super hard. It was just all shitty looking. It looked like shit. The presentation was the worst. Like half of it, that part that was still together looked decent. And then it looked like Macho Man just head butted yeah. and then snorted Coke off the other end. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but we do have a guest in the studio. Yeah. Mr. John Magnum. Uh, how's life been treating you, brother? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. You guys asked about the shirt, and that's kind of like my philosophy of training. So I'm getting into personal training now. Oh, I'm transitioning up. away from porn. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why would you want to transition away from porn? Well, I mean, I'm still going to be doing it. I have my OnlyFans, and that's doing really well. Yeah. Um, and now that uh, COVID's getting handled, you know, some of the studios are opening back up to, you know, to film in big projects. How long have you been in the game? How long have you been in the porn industry? 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. I was in the military for six. Yeah. And then I got out and. Was, and what uh, made you want to get into it and how did you get into I it? I was, uh, well, it was 2009 when I got out. Mm -hmm. There were no jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fuck something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I started off in Vegas. Uh, actually, I started off with a, a, a website called Sean Cody. And they were like the highest paying in the industry at the time, you know, like 2000 for a solo. Oh, damn. You can't even get you know, a couple hundred, maybe if you're like a top star and you're going to do a solo and spend a long time, because that's what they were doing when COVID first hit, they uh -huh. were just doing solos at home. And right? the solo is just like somebody touching themselves. Jacking off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, like you get 500, you know, if you're like Damn, top bro. level, right? I'm right. Get but if you're just shit. starting off, like maybe 150, 200. And I'm wasting nuts, then, man. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> but back then it was like 2000. Damn. Right. Yeah, so it was you like could buy a Mazda for that much, like a <laughs> brand new Mazda for that much. You go down payment for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 But um, but yeah, so I started off there, and then after that, I um moved to Vegas and uh started doing like TS porn, like two hundred dollars a shoot, working your way up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, doing like twelve hour days. Damn, two hundred bucks. Fuck that. Yeah. Was it worth it at the time? Maybe not in retrospect, but at, at the time, was you, it worth? You pay it? your dues with anything. Okay. Really. That's what it is, you know, for a lot of people when they first get in, they got to do, sh you know, scenes for free. They got to just show that they want to like somebody is a no show and, you know, the director, or someone like a makeup artist is like, well, I got a guy who's been wanting, you know, or he's just starting and they'll bring him in just to fill in. And if he's lucky, he gets paid. That's crazy. That's how it starts. Slave labor. So uh, in 2009, it was about $2,000 for a solo. Uh Clearly, the adult industry market has shifted since 2009. Like, with all the, even before OnlyFans, like, a lot of the amateur stuff was was getting out there and was becoming more popular, like, in the last five, six years. Did you see, did you, could you see the change coming in the industry? Uh, or did well, it just come out of nowhere? Well, no, I mean, it's interesting. I've been involved in the industry. I've been in, in the industry since DVD days. Like when internet porn was just really like starting to like hit its major stride. Yeah. Because like, you know, you had Bang Bros before that, you know, Bang Bus. It was like a pro-am. Bang Bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, of course you had like the big, you know, the big studios like Wicked and, you know. Uh, Mike in Brazil. Vivid. Mike in Brazil. That was a thing. <laughs> That's what I was, I, I'm into Brazilians. That yeah. Was a thing. <laughs> oh, well, are you talking about... Yeah, they did. It was on Bang Bros, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Reality so. Kings. No, it might have been Reality Kings. Reality Kings. Kings. That sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was a Reality Kings. We had like uh, Come Fiesta. Uh, what Mike's was that, Come Fiesta? That was just like New Girls. Okay. Yeah. It's, my shit was uh, We Live Together. It's that was also, my, that was all this like stuff my favorite is still around. Shit. Wait, that, was that real? We Live Together? It was it's like, I don't think it's like defunct now, but yeah, it was like all these hot ass, like, college lesbians back when I was like, you know, young enough to fuck college girls and shit. But yeah, it was like, uh, that was my shit. It's like all these hot ass lesbian fucking okay. They, they I, I don't think they live together. Unfortunately, that would have been cool. That was <laughs> that was what the website made you believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my god, this is the coolest house ever. How the fuck do I move in? So you were around yeah. in the Bang Bros days and and Reality King. Well, days. DVDs were still a thing. You know, they were still going out. You know, yeah. Nowadays, everything. Like if you go to the store and you get a DVD, it's just a, a compilation of you know internet internet scenes. Anyways. Oh really. Yeah. Huh. I mean, even like uh, the long form stories that they're that they're doing like series like on bank, you know, like Brazzers or, you know, Lucas, uh, they're 
still geared towards the internet because that's where the market has shifted. There's no DVD, you know, sales to be made anymore. It's such a small niche yeah, yeah. that they don't even count on it, you know. And um, so, you know, shortly after I got in, that's when that was dying. You know, like I think the first movie that I did, because I did internet stuff, but the first movie I did was a uh, thing called Lotus. It was for, um, trying to think. It was one of Colt's uh, smaller studios because um, Colt was a big DVD company and they had a couple of, I'm trying to think, start with a B. I can't remember the name of the. Was it like a full length? movie or was it like yeah well it was it, it, there was a guy that was making his comeback you know just one last time uh pretty big porn star back in the late 90s um and um brian hansen was his name uh he was like real mega you know porn star like he'd go into you know gay clubs and like there'd be people like waiting in line outside just have you know, his cheering, cheering his name yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he had to have crazy. security yeah hmm. Yeah, that was in like the late nineties. Okay, because you know that was like Jenna Jameson time. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's when being a porn star was cool. You know, like it was kind of cool. Like people like that's when everything started looking up. Yeah, for porn. Jenna Jameson just started that. I mean, you had Ron Jeremy before that, but that was he wasn't. Like, he didn't make it look cool. He didn't make it look cool, but everyone knew who he was because he was like he was called the Hedgehog because he looked he was like, <laughs> He's so he had he a hairy look like a hedgehog. Back, yeah. 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 Anyways, but he was like, oh. A regular looking guy can make it as a porn star yeah you know uh but anyways um yeah and then internet became a thing and then you also had like Pornhub and the tube sites and the funny thing is that all these companies they're all owned by pretty much the same company really yeah like there's at the top of the there's pyramid one company i think it's called yeah Mind geek now that's yeah. how everything what's works. it called mind geek yeah and they own like all these porn they own all like 99 percent of the tube sites that's crazy um you know, Brazzers, Bang Bros, Reality Kings, uh, you know. Uh, Dude, what, why do we not have regulations on this? Like, <laughs> there should be regulations. You shouldn't be able to have a monopoly on the fucking porn industry. Yeah, I mean, they gay, straight, you know, TS. For the, you know, TS is a little bit more. Um, that was me. That was me. Oh, okay. It's like, damn it, I thought I'd turn that thing off. Uh, <laughs> no, but, he doesn't still. What are you talking about? It's on vibrate. TS is still kind of like split up. What's know? TS? A transsexual porn. Oh, okay. Yeah yeah it's but uh yeah they own pretty much everything and they're all based out of germany you know? <laughs> that's so strange man yeah. yeah so like now with with only fans being a thing it seems like they're not even considered a porn company they consider themselves like a only fans a, yeah no no oh, no not only oh. about like mine mine, they mine? Even consider, yeah porn company they consider themselves like a data oh wow company yeah because they that's, track everything that's crazy Chrome, yeah if you're if you're on your computer right there you go to bank bros browsers and even like those tube sites they're going to track what you're doing and how you're what porn you're viewing between different porn sites and all goes into a that's an wild generates what you're going to be seeing on like uh you know if you go to like you know the tube sites they give you like a today's selection or yeah, a, yeah, yeah. you know featured or yeah suggested it's all based on what you've been looking at that's everywhere. crazy yeah. i was wondering i was like they sell that data Damn, everybody's into the same shit as me. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just not. Well, that's also how they determine like what scenes they're going to shoot now. Oh, okay. Wow. Like, seriously, like down to you know, in a day or two, they'll figure out, okay, what's hot right now? That's crazy. Across the they world. have the analytics to be able to all, view yeah, that. because they got all the data, all the, everywhere that you're looking. And then they disseminate devices. that information down to the houses and let them know what type of scenes yeah. they need. Yeah, they have a few producers, you know, in the States. Yeah, that's wild. And they all I had no idea that to them. That's like dude, they're straight, like Facebook. gay, TS, the whole thing, man, the whole thing. Yeah, they're like Facebook, man. Like Facebook isn't even like a uh, social media thing. It's like more of like a data mining operation. To an yeah, extent, yeah, yeah. That's how they make their money. Yeah, they're advertising. They sell the information to that's the wild. advertising company. Same thing with the the porn site, you know, the tube sites. They have all those advertisements on the side. You know, the banners. It's the same thing, but it's all the crazy thing is that most of it's owned by the same company. It's all just feeding into itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. So, like when OnlyFans came around, like, uh, some some people in the industry felt like that was a saving grace because it was drying up. Is that is that uh is that fair? Oh, it's a more democratic version of porn making. You know how so? Like, what's the difference between working for OnlyFans and then working for a studio? Well, you get to keep like all the you're in charge mm -hmm. of your content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get the, you know, you get a, OnlyFans takes a little cut, but 
you know, for the most part, you get all the money. When you do a shoot for a, you know, big company, small company, it doesn't matter. You know, depending on your market value, you're usually producing about a million dollars over the lifetime of one scene. That's how much you produce, Damn. right? And you get like one fifty, like you just said, like one fifty for like a, a solo scene. But that scene, no, like- now now it's like top one thousand for a sex scene. Damn. Yeah. Wait, they they only pay a thousand dollars for a sex scene. Yeah, and they're gonna make a million off of it. Over the course of the lifetime, Jesus, that thing's dude. available. You should have been a comedian. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I get paid less than that. Shit. Yeah, it, yeah, you get. Yeah, the. I mean, I wrote a like a article like on my Tumblr like years ago about this. Like the, it's just like all the other entertainment industries. Uh, yeah, there's it sounds, not that much money that's being yeah. paid to the performers though. So with OnlyFans, it kind of levels the playing field. You know, you don't have to do as much work, and you get to keep all the all your content, <clears throat> share with other people. Um, you know, it just depends on like your I don't know your resources mm-hmm. and you know your god-given talent whether yeah. it's at picking good people to do things for you and paying them to do it or doing it all yourself yeah. so it kind of makes you the boss yeah. yeah 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 it makes you the boss yeah that's awesome man because it's giving giving power back to the creators and stuff and you see this and uh, that's funny how you say this and it's like uh uh you can extrapolate this to so many different fields you know from even like athletes to you know, musicians to comedians like us and stuff, you know, like we get paid in fucking drink tickets half the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. fuck. So, yeah, that's awesome, man. Like, I, I know that you have a thing for editing, right? Yeah. Like, you, uh, you told me before about you like reworking movies and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight my... Rises. Yeah. Uh, does this, uh, does this platform give you the opportunity to like, have you experimented with any of that yet? Like, now, it's, yeah. yeah. Are you doing, bit. are you doing a little bit of like Mission Impossible Dick? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm started to, I have a <laughs> eight year old MacBook pro, uh, so I can't do any large projects, but, uh, I've been using my iPhone cause I have an iPhone XS max. So it's kind of like the precursor to the pro. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's pretty, pretty cool. I've been experimenting mostly on like Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. How? Oh. Yeah. Uh, just like with my workout videos. Yeah. Like the last one I put out was, <laughs> Yeah, it, you know that song that starts like ass, ass, ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big Sean. Yeah, exactly. This is really catchy, and it's got Nicki Minaj uh, <laughs> featured in it too. Um, and so it was like a squatting, squatting workout, you know. So I was doing oh, there squats, you go. and it was yeah. all it was all focused on my ass. Yeah, yeah, ass. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give the fans what they want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Daddy got to pay them bills, right? Daddy got to pay them bills. Yeah, well, yeah. The social media drives to the only fans, and only fans drives to the creation of more content, and it's, you know. So it's a, it's cyclical, a good, yeah. Are you cyclical. happier on OnlyFans than you were working in the studios? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all really, you know, I can't say for sure if I'm gonna. It's gonna bring long term happiness because when uh, the George Floyd situation happened, like I stopped doing any kind of social media or OnlyFans updates. Oh, really? Why is that? Um, because I didn't think it was. I mean, you couldn't, I couldn't just yeah keep going. When, well, keep acting like nothing really happened, you know, mm-hmm. and just like doing all the happy social media posts and you know posts on you trying to make yeah. I don't know trying to make money during that time because people were hurting all over, and I know people wanted an escape, and a lot of people that's why they go to porn. Yeah. Escape. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For about three or four minutes. Yeah. But I, I, I didn't <laughs> three, think. Yeah. Or seven minutes on average, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got to get some story, some like plot line down, dude. You know, you, you got to like, watch the shirt get unbuttoned. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. 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 And um, yeah, I don't know. People didn't need to escape. They needed to face what was really going on. Um, and I, so I wasn't going to feed into anything that I didn't believe in at the moment. Yeah. Well, yeah. how did, I mean, Clearly that. So at the beginning of the year is when I started back. And since then, like my, you know, it's, it's gone back up and, but I still was making enough money without doing any updates to take care of myself, pay the bills. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah. Without doing anything. Really? Really. Really? No, no, we need to get on OnlyFans. (laughs) I need need to get on OnlyFans. Yeah. Hey, look, look, let me tell you something. Okay. You, you gotta, stepped on the stage, did comedy. I can slide into some OnlyFans. If you gotta, <laughs> like, this is what I tell you. I don't know. You're not even asking about it. You're just like, we're just to do it. So you know what? You should do it then. You know, if that's your... Because I always tell people, they ask me, should I do porn? And I go, look, you got to ask. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you're well, not even asking. You're just like, go do it. All right, yeah. Perfect. 
Well, if somebody was getting into OnlyFans or uh, what any any is there a direction they should take or any any information you can give them to help them be successful? It uh, depends on where you're starting out. I mean, if you already got a big following, I'm not talking about like, oh, a thousand people on Instagram. Um, but like you've, you've already got a big social brand like myself. It's definitely worth it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got girls who just like do, you know, fitness stuff, you know, bodybuilding type stuff. Um, they have an OnlyFans. They don't do any like sex stuff. They just do, you know, nudes. That's where they, they post their nudes. Yeah. Um, and if you want to go all the way, go all the way, you know, but just make sure that you know where you get yourself into. Because once you do what you got to do, they never let you do what you want to do. Oh, which is a line from The Dark Knight Rises. Sounds deep. Uh, I don't think I've ever asked you this, but like, what, what, what is it like to be a porn star? Because I think every mm. guy in their mind is like, oh, I could do that. Or, you know, everybody feels like they could be a porn star or even like fancies themselves wanting to be a porn star. Mm. But when you are one, what is that life like? Uh, you know, it's kind of it like crazy. Being a, it, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like being a pirate. <laughs> <Yeah>. How? <laughs> everybody wants to be one, but nobody really wants to be one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like a fantasy. Yeah. 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 And, but when, what it's like to be a pirate, it's fun at times. It's dangerous at others. And dag now, sometimes you're breaking the law in a big way. You that's know, that's, just, that's, the, that's the life of someone who, you know, is essentially a sex worker. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it thrilling? Is it fulfilling? Oh, uh, wow. No, I mean, not, n- not completely. No. <laughs> just being honest, you know, I mean, no. uh, you know, you get into it cause, um, you know, you think you don't have any other choice. Uh, and then, you know, I, I did something called landmark education, which, allowed me to, you know, transform my, my relationship with, with my career. Uh, but it's still at the same time, I can recognize how the outside looking in can view it and what the ramifications are, are important to be known. Uh, I mean, I've lost many jobs because of it, you know, really good paying jobs trying to get out of the industry. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, the way they I, like Google you or find out somehow. Yeah. It's, I mean, sometimes it's like, man, I just, you know, I'm sharing with my coworkers cause I don't really lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not a liar. So. Yeah. Like, look what I did. They're like, yeah, you're not going to do that anymore and work here. <laughs> well, no, it's not like I don't do it anymore. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'd retire. This is when I moved to Texas Oh uh, wow. so many years ago when I met you. I was actually trying to get out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, people, even not talking about it, people, you know, they find out about it. I mean, I, where I live now is not necessarily a small town, but it's not a, a large city by any stretch of the mean. Um, and, you know, I get recognized at Walmart. Oh, wow. That's crazy for real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's never like a dude with his like married wife or something like that. And he's like, Hey, I know you. No, <laughs> like, nah. no, no. It's usually, it's usually like, uh, kind of like, I don't know, just over, you just graduated high school. Yeah. 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 That's <laughs> so, crazy, dude. That's, that's when weird. they're like really like yeah. looking at, you know, they're, yeah. really, they're just soaking it all in. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. remember everybody. Sometimes I get, sometimes I get confused with Johnny Sins. who was another bald head, uh, porn star with a, with a badass body. Oh, okay. probably <laughs> he's with a badass body. Yeah, he he's got a better body, I think, than mine in, in some <clears throat> respects. Oh, don't mine. discredit yourself like this. Come on now. <laughs> hey, sexy is a sexy does. I mean, <laughs> I just sec- it's sexy, you know. He's sexy. You know. Yes. I'm not saying hey, I want to have sex with him, but he's fucking sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My granny used to say that if you can't uh compliment somebody's body, then you got a problem. Yeah. yeah. And just because you compliment them don't mean you want to do anything. Yeah. You know, Miss Delicious sh- said that? Yes, Miss Delicious used to always say, <laughs> you know, like if a girl walked by with a fat ass, my granny would be like, Lou, you see that ass? Like, <laughs> hold on, granny, what you, what you she's like, hilarious. am I like, not supposed to say damn, that? Damn, that girl got a fat ass. Well, she wasn't like that, but she'd be like, you know, you got an ass, you see that ass? Yeah, I saw that ass. You know, like, so compliment Of course I did, granny. <laughs> of course I did, Miss Delicious. I, I saw, saw it from ass. the front. I saw it from the front. Yeah. I, hey, I've, I've met many grannies like that. Right? <laughs> I've yeah. never met a granny like that. Oh, my granny, my granny was the truth. She's, she's the realest one. She was Miss R- Delicious. Rest yeah. in peace. Oh, dog! I didn't um, know that. Rest in peace, Miss Delicious. Uh, yeah. Have you noticed the uh, OnlyFans changed the game a little bit? Has it like? Yeah, yeah. Is there I mean, a lot of people sure. that are probably getting out of the game and doing their own thing now? They don't. Well, they don't have to do the big studio stuff. I mean, <laughs> it's interesting. Like the way the industry has justified the drop in rates is like they say, "Well, it's this is like paid advertising. Like we're just getting your name out there." You know, so you can ask for more when you're doing your escorting mm-hmm. or when you're doing club appearances or whatever. Hey, back you up. 
yeah escorting okay yeah. so like and so that's like you know that's just a given like you know some of the girls are able to go dance at strip clubs right make and a shit feature there and they can make some money there they can ask for more upfront better treatment the bigger their name gets um but generally speaking as you go along in the porn industry you get paid less and less per scene i mean Damn. there's you know you stay in the upper echelon well you're still going to get you know type rates but it's nothing compared to when you first got in it's always starting out really high and it's, it's the exact opposite of all the other industries was and, it like oversaturation or something Is that basically that? yeah basically i mean because well and also it's just how like you know consumers consume porn uh everyone's looking for a new face yeah you know very rare you know rare seldom that you uh you know find a girl or a guy that you're like oh i that's i'm sticking onto that one yeah you know right. for whatever they're in i'm gonna watch and i'm gonna <laughs> yeah, fantasize yeah. not married to them and shit, yeah. yeah in your mind though you want to be you know, yeah, yeah. but i mean there are people like that out there and that's I'm usually sure. you know so th those but those are our has, biggest friend, uh, fans has it changed the industry in <laughs> so terms of <laughs> yeah right i'm sure has it changed the industry in terms of like what uh how studios treat you said it's like one main studio basically uh, but how I'm they're not quite sure i mean because uh only fans is like because of covid the industry really you know shut down quite a bit mm -hmm. you know i don't i don't even know what they were shooting at all last year but i knew at some point they did start up start back up mm -hmm. and um but it's just been slow and it's I don't know exactly how dangerous it is, but I know there's always a, a gray area when it comes. Oh, to look porn. at that promo, man! Look at that fucking little tie-in. That's the second time you said danger. Yeah. Are you talking health risk danger, or are you talking like somebody kicking in the door danger? What level of danger are we discussing here? Oh well, I mean health. You know, you definitely. You know, if there's a mistake made, you know, you can be carrying around some luggage for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you put that. Yeah. <laughs> You know. <laughs> why is that funny i don't get it <laughs> you know you carry around some luggage for the rest of your life that's funny it's, it's the old way of putting you know well, you got you might get the the heavy oh, or shit. or yeah. something or the a kid heavy. um oh yeah you know or aids you know yeah you know so that's still happening you know not as much as it was back in the 90s right. but, but it's still a risk yeah yeah it still is yeah huh. Because most porn is done without condoms you know they do testing but mm. uh it's not super recent or can't no, be. no, it is. Usually, it's like within within a week. Okay, know, but there's it's never like like right before. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's that window, like you know, someone who has you know a uh, drug addiction or you know, I don't know, they just have no impulse control and they mm -hmm. can't follow the rules. You know, you're not supposed to do any escorting like before a scene, like in between your time you do uh, your test, and you're not supposed to sleep with anybody. I mean, yeah. It's kind of like the rule, um, and. Um, but they still do it because they're trying to make as much money as they possibly can. Yeah, they got to pay the bills. They catch something, but their test comes back clean, then boom, you know, you get it on site. You don't know, you do another scene the next day, you give it to them. Damn. That's how you get it, you know, yeah. spread. You know, that's, that's like crazy. when, and it's funny because like we, they passed a condom law in LA, like, I don't know, five years ago, something like that. Um, and it, it drove a lot of the industry to, to Vegas because mm. they didn't have the same rules. Um, but you know everyone in porn was up in arms about like oh you know we're gonna have to wear hazmat suits and gloves and masks and and face shields when you know <laughs> when we're doing porn now and here we are covid doing that anyways <laughs> everybody is wearing fucking face masks yeah. and face yeah. shields and there's probably like a kink for it now and shit <laughs> <laughs> there's a kink for, there's a niche for everything yeah yeah for everything i'm yeah. sure there is yeah uh, so i don't yeah so like it I, makes it more you know easier for you to like to just say no mm -hmm. i think is the real question to your answer as far as like making it easier working with the companies so you're talking about uh instagram and your training videos and i know that that is something that is important to you uh training and all that mm -hmm. um are you trying to find a way to cross that over or is there a is there a niche for that or a spot for like a crossover in in between adult entertainment and fitness yeah i mean there can be um I mean, because your body is your job, you know, you, you've, you've got to be in good shape. You got to be able to, to, to do what you do, you know? So, um, some people are better at it than others. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to kind of create that. I mean, there's a couple of people in the industry that do personal training, but I don't think because of like COVID, they probably haven't been able to, uh, adapt because they were doing like mobile personal training like they have like a u-haul truck that was filled with equipment and weights and everything and that they just went to people's houses like this is out in la yeah where all the money's at 
That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. But with COVID, you probably couldn't do that. Well, couldn't you do like, you know, like a Peloton, but like for your fans and only fan on only fans, like you can get on there and have workout with John Magnum mornings or some shit like that. And, you know, every other day they come get That's leg day with, with John Magnum. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could. And give them a happy ending at the end of it. That's, 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 a, that's a lot of work yeah. uh, and a lot of production right there. You're already working out, right? Um, yeah, but, you know, on OnlyFans, you know, you want to be doing it naked. So, you know. Man, fuck them. You ain't got, it's the workout segment. You can come see my dick later. I'm going to do some squats right now in these shorts, though. You can do some squats with me. Like, yeah. Well, another thing is I post on OnlyFans with, with other adult content. You've got to, you know, you got to do so much paperwork. Really? Yeah, even if they're yeah, I mean, so I can't post on OnlyFans like working out at a gym. I can post oh. it on my Instagram, that's fine. Yeah, but on OnlyFans because you're dealing with adult content, it's like copyright shit and everything. No, there's just laws again. You have to. You don't have any weights at the house. <laughs> You're John Madden. You got like just, an Olympic gym in your garage, right? I no, no, God no. I don't make that much money. <laughs> Look, you know, I'm the Rock is my spirit animal, but I do not have his money. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so now I work out at like Crunch Fitness. You know, I just work out at Planet Fitness and um, Anytime Fitness. I've just got a membership to Crunch. They've got like everything you need. Is that so. a bigger gym? Is that a newer gym? I've, I haven't heard of Crunch. Yeah, they're they're a new, uh, you know, franchise chain. You know, I think they started out in L.A. because I, I, I used to go to them out there. Uh, we just got one in my where I'm living now out in Tennessee. Um, and big you know they've got a lot of free weights a lot of benches um a lot of um you know olympic style weightlifting platforms punching bags you know uh kind of a football like you know fake grass area mm -hmm. you know they get a lot of stuff a lot of stuff so it's pretty cool the only thing i miss about planet fitness is uh the corny music yeah the pf360 station yeah the what it's a it, it's like a one oh that 30 the 30 minute thing no no, no 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 it's the pf360 so it's like got monkey bars in the middle and like a, a rope pulling station on one oh side yeah okay, cables okay on another and yeah yeah i think in bands and it's pretty cool so you can do a lot in that you know because i when i do my cardio in the morning i do calisthenics after that um and that's just you know part of the routine so it was a lot easier with that but I, i've made do with crunch <laughs> well i mean part of your job is to keep your body uh looking as good as possible yeah. um and i know that you not only are a fitness but also like a health nut as well like when it comes to eating one thing that you've told me in the past that i've held on to uh i believe you told me to make sure you drink water in the morning like before you before you drink coffee and all that uh eat natural foods non-processed stuff like eat vegetables or fruits and and water because mm -hmm. most people wake up and they just start drinking coffee mm -hmm. uh i think you had told me something like that back in the day mm -hmm. uh, are you still as into your um your eating and your and your health routine uh, as you were back in the day because i know you had the back surgery and all that uh mm -hmm. so are you are you still yeah. big into yeah. the eating right oh yeah 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 i mean eating right uh is uh, you know, I don't know, questionable, but yeah, I mean, look, eat right, right? Yeah, so That's on, yes, but sometimes I mean, look, motto. about once once a week, you know, I'll have like a Papa John's pizza. It's good for a refeed by it yourself. Worked. Yeah, just by myself, a large, yeah. or two, like two <laughs> mediums. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good. I don't know, my no. body just works with it. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Same thing like tilapia and sardines. Some people that can't stand that stuff. I can't stand that stuff. Yeah, yeah but it works great for my body. Yeah. Last night I posted this on Instagram actually right before I came in the studio. Um, I, um, I ate three ribeyes, four God eggs. Damn. Um, and I hadn't eaten all day, mind you. Right. Cause I've been traveling. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and a bunch of mixed vegetables, like, you know, tons and tons of butter. Yeah. About half a stick of the Kelgis, like Irish. Yeah. 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 Butter. I got that about half of one of those. Yeah. Damn. For all that cooking. Yeah. It was, it was awesome. What's your and diet like? Are you on a high protein diet or and something? About a quarter of a tub of uh, yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up this morning with food. Like, I, was I was say like, he's like oh. hung over and shit. Probably oh, like yeah. fuck. Yeah, but I drank some water and got to the gym and you know fucking came out with eight eight pack. There so. you go. Man. <laughs> Is that your normal diet though? Are you eating like that on a regular basis or are you? No, not like that. I mean, but yeah, a lot of food. Uh, like if I work out because I used to work out twice a day. I'm changing over, you know, to a different routine now. 
Uh, so, uh, but you know, right after I work out in the morning, like I'd eat two breakfasts, this is what I call it. Cause they're back to back. And then I, I'd go work out in the afternoon. And then after that, I would eat a big dinner, maybe <clears throat> two different types of meals, but one of them was really big. So if I didn't eat all of it, then I could save it for the next morning. Yeah. Uh, as one of my, my breakfasts. One of my breakfasts. <laughs> yeah. I got multiple breakfasts. Yeah. Cause one of them is a, is a three egg omelet and, and a spinach, uh, t -t -t um, like wrap. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tortilla wrap with mixed vegetables, you know, bell peppers, onions, and lots of butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, and so how do you see the industry changing? I know you're out of it or whatnot, but I'm sure you still have some ties and connections or know people that are or whatnot. Mm -hmm. How do you see it or do you see it changing like whatsoever at all? Yeah. And and what's the force behind that that's making it change? No, it's always social, you know, mm -hmm. with, with with the industry, it's always like what what the consumer is gonna you know, tolerate what they're going to pay for. Yeah. Or how the money, you know, because of like mind geek, they've been able to make money off of people who aren't even really buying anything. Yeah. 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 You know, with the selling of data, but, uh, yeah. Um, but it's always changing just like with Betamax versus VHS and, you know, yeah. Blu-ray versus HD DVD. Okay. You know? No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they say that the porn industry drives technology and you know, changes technology, but technology has got to a certain point where now porn has to bend to its will. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. And so it's just like the performers in the industry are just going where the money is. And um, so do you, do you see like OnlyFans changing that? Is OnlyFans yeah. only porn? Yeah. Is that, have you been on OnlyFans? No, no, like I said. No, like, but there's other know. stuff besides, uh, I, I watched the documentary on OnlyFans. Oh, uh, for real? Like a week or two ago. I've Hulu. never seen the documentary. Yeah, that's cool. So you can put like, uh, like say if I wanted to put like sketches on there or something yeah, like that. Like Donald yeah. Rawlings has a show on OnlyFans. Oh, dude, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. You just, it's Check like, out my OnlyFans. It's <laughs> Chad Fisher comedy. It's like Twitter, but you have to pay for Instagram, but you have to pay for the feed, you know, to, to subscribe to the feed. So does it cost a sign up? I'm all trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> like, what yeah, you it just depends do. on how much you, you know, ch you charge. So oh, you shit. go to a performer's page, you know, you go to mine and it's 15, you know, 14 99 a month. Oh, you know? can you do it like per, like, like say if I had a sketch or something like that, I could charge like a dollar or something like that to, to view it or you do I it like they, monthly. I think you have to have subscribers. Oh, so you do it like monthly. Is it? I mean, oh. yeah, you can, well, here's the thing is that you can actually have a free only fans. I've seen people do this where they have a free only fans and they have a paid only fans. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what they're doing with the, with the free only fans, but I can I, tell you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, could you see the documentary? Yeah. So, what is it? I've seen the doc, and then they, they do this on Snapchat as well. Is they'll post uh, pictures and videos on the free one to drive to drive you to mm -hmm. the paid one to the, to their mm -hmm. premium. So you know, hey, here's me doing whatever. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to see more or you want to see what happens next, join my premium. Yeah, yeah. And then they drive you over there. Okay. So Smart. that's what they're doing with the free ones. Okay. So we okay. need to set up only thing. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to do squats <laughs> with John Magnum in the background. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of views on that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to use your lot. likeness like a motherfucker. Oh, I'm just going to have bro. you in the background. <laughs> I'll, I'll just be in the background. Just standing just there like while yeah. Cheetah just talking a bunch of nonsense. I'm just going to get a, a cutout. I'm going to get a life-size cutout of you like that Matthew McConaughey joint we had. Yeah, that we won. And then I'm just going to be talking shit and be like, with John Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> He's just standing there. That's weird. That's weird. I've, never, I've had a lot of requests. But I've never been, you know, like someone's asked me to be a cutout. <laughs> well, you just I'm glad did. I could be your first. Well, you just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Cheatham just did. So Cheatham. that was weird, man. That was weird. You just crossed the boundary. Wait, I just made it weird. You just made it. Really you just weird. made it. Fuck out of here. You've been making this weird. You made it weird since the beginning. I don't know what you're talking about. I make it good. I make it gravy, baby. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Go ahead, dude. Seriously, say you can it, say, say whatever it, you say want. It, we don't give a shit. <laughs> no, let's move on. <laughs> oh, What's shit. next? What's yeah, next? what are you, are you doing next? What's next? Are you going to stick with this OnlyFans thing or like, are you going to? Yeah, for now, I mean, I'm transferring, you know, into personal training. Um, we'll see what happens with that. You know, I have online clients now mm -hmm. and, you know, hopefully I can get on with the gym. Yeah, that'd be yeah. awesome. So see, the escorting thing is where I'm at still. I'm still there. I'm still, I'm sorry. I had to go back. I'm still on the escort thing because like, how is that? Like, so the studios know that the that yeah. that they're escorting yeah, yeah of course yeah, yeah the, the so is that like the, is that the option is just like like it's just kind of like a that's a given in the industry it, okay there's, it's a there's given no way, there's no way to make enough money well before only fans there was no way to make enough money just doing scenes right you know unless you were like some big time star that got a contract where you get paid five 
six, seven, ten thousand dollars a month, whatever it was back in the day. They still do it, but they're not as big as they used to be. Um, yeah, regardless if you shoot a certain amount of scenes or not. So I am. Yeah. See, that's just <laughs> I mean, like prostitution is illegal. And I don't, I'm not saying escorting is prostitution. It's not illegal everywhere. No, you know the difference between prostitution and escort? Is one stands on the corner? <clears throat> And no. the other one has a business card? <laughs> no, no, it's it, you know, in the business side of it. It's uh, so prostitutes charge for the act, escorts charge for the time, mm. regardless of what happens or not. So just because you've escorted doesn't necessarily mean you've actually done anything. Yeah, yeah. Was for sex. Yeah. Might have just went to like fucking like an Applebee's or some shit. So like when you get into you could have just went like a two hour date movie, you know, date, yeah. you know. Like you get into the escorting thing, like does somebody set you up with that? Like, hey, let me hook you up with my madam. And they'll bring you in, or no, like I mean, back in the day before the internet, yeah. But now he's got sites. That, yes. Oh, really? Is that how it goes? Yeah, yeah. You know about escort? I don't know. I don't. I mean, you're <laughs> like you're like agreeing, like you know, I'm like, I don't know shit. I don't know yeah. shit. About I got a kid now. Let's move on. <laughs> right. I got, yeah, but you had a long life before the kid. I did. And it's okay. I did. To, it's okay to talk about. And the I life will you tell do. him about that someday. <laughs> Not on a podcast. He ain't gonna watch oh, this. Yeah, dog. Like, yeah. There's so many sites. You remember Backpage and shit? Like, there's yeah, like yeah, yeah, Craigslist. Yeah, I remember Craigslist. Yeah. 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 Craigslist. They yeah. shut down Backpage. John Magnum was on Craigslist. No, I wasn't. On I could have got you on Craigslist. No, I'm just saying that's what it was used for. I was not on any that. Had you cut grass. Back shit, page, all them goddamn like, shoulders. No. E -C -C yeah, yeah. I, I cut it. Whatever. I cut it with a loincloth on. Exactly. <laughs> I charge one hundred and fifty dollars an hour. There you go. <laughs> um, I love cutting grass too. That's why I'm giving you a discount. Cutting okay. grass. <laughs> um, cutting grass and eating ass. Fucking. That could be a slogan. Something I don't do. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what won't you do? I don't about? floss at work. That's how I put it. What, what won't you? <laughs> what won't you do? Or what? Uh, what was something always a line that you would never cross? Oh uh, yeah, I won't floss at work. Yeah, that's what they call it, flossing. Eating that's what I call it. Oh, okay, because you get hair in your teeth. Oh, that's foul. Yeah, that's how, that's very foul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, I'll do it with my girlfriends, like when they're like right out of a shower. I've yeah. done it. I think two, two of my girlfriends. Yeah. You no, know, maybe three. Yeah. Only two. Only three. I don't maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. The well, I'll be tossing maybe. salads. No, I mean, actually, I think the third one wanted to toss me. That's right. She did. I'll eat some ass. Yeah. Maybe that's why she broke up with me. No, right. she, she broke up with you because you wouldn't eat ass. No, no, because she ate, she ate my ass. Oh, <laughs> she's but like, she asked. Why? I don't want to do yeah. this anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be with this person anymore. <laughs> exactly. They were like, man, I feel so ashamed that I just licked his asshole. <laughs> and I asked for no, it. No big deal. You know, I didn't ask for it. She asked. Yeah, for it. yeah, yeah. She felt so ashamed. She's oh, like. Shit. Yeah, she's like, she's I like, like his nuts, but his <laughs> asshole, like, what, you know, I don't know. What had you been eating? She's like, I went to lick his booty. And Doc, okay, fuck. <laughs> what is so bad that she's like, never again. In fact, I can't even look you He's in the like, face. He's like, I had three ribeyes. Maybe she liked it too much. She was just scared. Yeah, oh she's like, I'm just going to be a slave to that asshole if any, I stick yeah. around. Any other longer. lines you wouldn't cross? <laughs> um, well, I mean, nothing nasty. I mean, I don't do the, you know. We're duking and shit. Yeah, the, I don't, yeah anything brings pain. Yeah, or anything that's like like the dominatrix stuff or yeah, the, the the, the yeah, clamps. I've tried, like, I've tried that stuff. Yeah, with, yeah, yeah. With like kink.com didn't have that good of a time. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. That's yeah. some fun. Yeah. Like getting whipped and all that shit. Like not cool. Yeah, not cool. <laughs> yeah, there was this one. I think it was like the last thing that I did. It was. Um, you guys remember the first Rambo movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know the torture scenes they always have the flashbacks too. Mm -hmm. He was like strapped up to these like bamboo things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was me, right? No, Damn. wait, what? what? Hanging, hanging from the ceiling. Got me while a guy up. was like wet, whipping me with a with a with a bamboo cane, like a, you know, like a thin one. You know, yeah. I think when Fuck we took a that. break one time, I was like, yeah, this should be illegal. Yeah, dog. Yeah. That was the That's last how they time punish ever... people in Singapore and yeah. shit. Like the fuck yeah. am I doing? Yeah, oh, um, I was like, awesome. I get, I get the, you know, yeah, you're paying me for it. But damn, I think this shit should be legal. <laughs> Dude, all that torture stuff, more. like I don't under, I don't, I'm I never on got that. off on yeah. the torture or like yeah. body distortion where they like, you know, do the, the yeah, rubber bands on yeah, it. Like, oh, that. dog, yeah, yeah that yeah. shit's fucking foul. Yeah, but I've tried, I've tried just about everything, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I went as far as I could with that, and I was like, all right, no more. Yeah, you're no like, more. I definitely know I don't like this. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, back out Sweet. very slowly. Both hands right. Yeah, yeah. Just like, hey, man, I'll hit you up next time. <laughs> Nobody awesome. move. Yeah. Nobody make a move. I'm leaving. Yeah. Awesome, so that man. one when you just like kind of kick the door with your foot, you don't even <laughs> just Yeah. Swing it out. Yeah. Um, this is awesome. Can you uh, tell everybody where they can find you? Uh, hit up your OnlyFans, uh, where you can find you on social media and everything like yeah, that? Yeah, my Twitter is uh, uh, John Magnum Triple X, you know, XXX. Uh, my and so is my my OnlyFans, uh, you know, OnlyFans.com backslash 
John Magnum XXX. Okay. And then there's my Instagram, which is the real John Magnum. Which somebody told me there's another John Magnum that I think was a baseball player. He's not the real John um, Magnum. But I'm the real John. You're Magnum. the real John. Fuck, fuck this little goofball. I don't goofball. care if he was born John Magnum. <laughs> yeah, you know, I made I, I made the name. Yeah, yeah exactly. You chose the name, yeah. so you should definitely get it before yeah. him. Be, before you roll, like uh one thing I always like talking to you about though is is uh like the health stuff. So can you give yeah. can you give our audience like uh one of your favorite health tips or something <laughs> that they should try to you challenge themselves to do? Uh, well, you definitely should go to my Instagram page because I'm going to be posting a lot more content uh, dealing with, uh, you know, workout routines for beginners, you know, intermediates, you know, and, you know, experienced lifters, depending on what your goal is. Dad bods. <clears throat> how do we fix this? Uh, how do you fix a dad bod? <laughs> yeah. Get active. Stop fucking taking naps. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, there's, that's that's one thing. Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. to take my but own you, advice. You start off small, you know, like, you know, when's the last time you worked out? Me specifically? Yeah, we're we talking about you. We're no, about I'm in general. I, I was in general, but if you want to, oh. if you want to use me as an example, uh, <laughs> fuck. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Just start. I pulled a hamstring like two months yeah. ago running in the sand. Uh, that was the you, last time I did anything. You got to start working out, man. You got to start. It doesn't start even matter small. what kind of job you have either, because like working out isn't about like exercise. It's really about you know therapy for your body. Mm -hmm. First off, yeah. Mm -hmm. Depending on what kind of job, you know, job you have, if your job is to work out, well, then it becomes a lot more. Mm -hmm. Like for myself, right? But for most people, you know, normal day people that have a job sitting at a desk, standing over an assembly line, cooking burgers all day long, whatever it is, mm -hmm. delivering packages through UPS. Um, the first order of business when getting into the gym is to give your body therapy to undo those negative, uh, you know, patterns that you keep repeating day in and day out. Mm -hmm. uh, and for that, you need to do functional training. Yeah, so I mean, but that's like a larger answer. Wait, I mean, define functional training. I'm I'm really asking you a question. Define functioning functional. Functional training, training is you know exercises uh, that you know consist of exercises that are designed to restore uh, balance to your body in its natural you know plane of motion. You know. So are we talking squats, push ups, pull ups. No, that's to begin with. Like when it comes to like just developing like the large muscle bellies and the prime movers. But then once you get you develop a certain layer of strength <clears throat> and stamina, then you move on to more complex movements. You know, like lunges with overhead press, which is a movement that I, as far as I know, I, I created. I mean, I'm sure there was like you know people doing that, but the way that I do it, you know, is very unique. Um, and so you like you get this stretch. Um, and you know it graduates you know because you're stretching forward with the weight and then you're bringing it back and lifting it up and then you're you're coming back out of the out of the lunge you know you advance from that to side lunges which is the same thing uh and that creates you know a transverse uh abdominal movement uh stimuli so most exercises are just like one plane of motion so you're just going forwards or you're just you know just doing a bicep curl like this you know your push-ups you know, it's all going forward or backwards right Sometimes you might do side, you know, side to side stuff if you're training for, for sports, but very, very seldom are you actually, unless you're working with like kettlebells, um, then you're hardly ever working in a 360 degree range of motion with your exercises, you know, so that's what functional training is all mm -hmm. about. It's interesting. You can find out about this on his on the, you got to follow him, man. You get all this information. Yeah, because I'm a dick hard. You fucking get a workout in. You get everything. Yeah. That's one stop shop, man. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, get start, some, uh, help. I'm starting to uh, document a lot more now. So now that the because I stopped updating until January first, and since then I've been getting back into it. Now that I got recertified for uh, NASM, then I can. BDSM? You know, NEAS. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, sweet, man. Yeah. Make sure you follow him on all of his uh, social media platforms. Absolutely. Check out his OnlyFans. Give him some love. Let him know you yeah. saw him on the Gray Area Ple podcast, Pleasure too. to have you on the show, brother. Yeah, brother. That was awesome. That was a really good interview, man, for sure. We appreciate okay. it. Well, sweet. Um, and you can find us on Instagram at, at Podcast The Gray Area. Twitter mm -hmm. is Podcast Gray Area. Facebook.com backslash The Gray Area Podcast. Boom. Uh, check us out on hotpodmedia.com uh, check out hotpodmedia.com as well because they have so many good podcasts so many different podcasts that are Big different Dan. from us Big Dan's Playground they got some uh, The Help. Meyer Chronicles they got uh, Paranormal knocking Amy stuff e off our walls Amy Edwards uh, and a lot of strong a lot of badass uh, uh, podcasts in the works too that we can't talk about this shit but yeah they'll be on soon um, check us out like us follow us mm -hmm. uh, please also leave a review if you can if you uh, like subscribe share yeah you got us on every platform leave us a review on whatever platform you're listening to us on 
We would greatly appreciate it. Don't be it. stingy with us. We brought you John Magnum, yeah, damn it. We're bringing right? the heat. We brought you all of this. Yeah. Train hard. <laughs> You're welcome. Eat right. Stay sexy. Like the gray area. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, thanks for uh, listening, everybody. We appreciate it big time. For sure. And until next time, you guys be kind to each other. Stay safe. And here's mud in your eyes. Peace. Thanks for listening. You can find more episodes and all other Hot Pie Media originals baked fresh daily at our home on the web at hotpiemedia.com, the Hot Pie Media YouTube channel, or wherever you listen to podcasts.